What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Created Teams series that I'm doing, where I am making teams that are not in the game, doing it to the best of my ability, maybe adding a little flair, putting them in the game for you guys to enjoy. Now, just a disclaimer. I do the best that I can from the pictures and the assets that I can find. If I cannot find certain things, I have to improvise. If I also can't find out certain information, and I have to improvise. Stadiums as well. I try to lean more towards the size of the stadium more than the exact look. I also try my best to find a stadium that doesn't have too much other team stuff going on, but sometimes, you know, it it, it just happens. But anyway, I have three more teams to show you guys today. Uh, the last video did really well for the ones that I did prior. That was the Virginia State, Delaware State, and Fisk University. Today, I have three more, and I can't wait to show you guys, so let's get right into it. First up is the Hampton Pirates. This one was asked about in one of my videos in the comment section. And once I looked them up and I saw the, the way that the uniforms looked and the way the helmets looked, I knew I had to make this because these things just look awesome. And I, I think I did a pretty good job. And here is the finished product. One thing I will say is was this blue was very difficult. I tried so many different blues to get the look that I was looking for based off of the pictures that I was seeing. And it, it was not easy at all but i think we got it done the helmet my god this is such a pretty helmet like the 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 off gray like it's almost like it's not white but it, it's a very light gray with the white in the logo and the blue it just pops so well one part that i made sure to put on the jerseys is the pirates on the back some of these don't mold right to the helmets uh, but i was trying to make a certain look work and it worked well on the site but then when it poured it into the game some of the stuff gets cut off like that but it's it's a little difficult when the some of the helmets don't sh like shift the right way for this for this uh back logo here um the front logo i just gave up on because it was always grayed out no matter what and it just looked bad so i just took them off all helmets that i had out there so nothing on the front bumper back bumper has the pirates with the blue background as well and then of course we have the away uniform just a, a straight swap, blue pants, white jersey, um, same helmet and everything. Um, this one, of course, the home does have all blue and the white, or the home does have all blue and the away has the all white. I know that they sort of wear, from what I saw, white pants at the home and the blue in the way, but I just put them all together. I mean, you guys can mix and match however you want, but this is how I envisioned it looking when you decide to hit the field. I also decided to do, I think this is an older version of the uniform. I could be mistaken, um, but from what it looks like, it, it appeared to be an older uniform and pretty much the same, except it has stripes on it. I could not recreate the stripes that they had in the actual pictures I found, but I do have the old logo on it um, with a little bit darker gray of a helmet. Um, the blue, I didn't want to change much at all because I wanted the accessories to still work together. It is a little bit darker, but not too dark. And I'm hoping it sort of works and gets both the job done for, you know, the, the regular attire and the, the new attire. But the original logo I found and I just like, hey, let's just do this as one of the options. So that way it's got both of them on there. And then, of course, we have the same with the away. Just the opposite. Stripes on the shoulder pads, just plain blue numbers. Um, gray pants with the striping on the pants there. So just the same same thing, but flopped around. I think that this was a look for quite some time from what like, a lot of pictures were showing this helmet. And then just recently I was finding pictures with the new one. So I, I wanted to pay a little homage with the, the older uniform as well. And for the last uniform option, I went with this gray, like slate gray look that I found. I found a picture of a dude wearing number 52 in this uniform and it just i don't know why even though the grays don't match it just looked really really nice so i wanted to put that in here as an option as well and i did see on a few situations where they would wear these dark gray pants with their normal uniform set um so now you'll be able to mix and match however you like and i did the best i could to match up the gray but again it's just it, it hampton uses some some very cool colors i i really like the colors they use but they're not your everyday blue, your everyday gray, your everyday this and that. So like the colors were not the easiest to match up. I hope I did a good enough job and I hope that if you, any of you guys out there are Hampton fans or maybe went there or go there now that you appreciate this and let me know down below if I did an okay job. And now on to our next school, which is Jackson State. So that was another school that was very highly requested of me on the channel. And I think I did a pretty decent job with these. 
They have a very unique look with their helmets. They have their logo on one side and then they have the numbers on the other and I made it work. Now, I gotta be honest with you guys though, and this is no disrespect. I don't know what's going on with these pant legs here, man. I, I don't get it. I don't like it, but I made them because that's what it says that they have. <laughs> I'm just being honest with you guys. Um, the big white stripe, I, I don't know, man. It just looks a little, it looks like it doesn't belong, but I'm telling you guys, if you're not aware of Jackson State, this is the uniforms I saw everywhere. I tried finding other stuff to see if I was outdated, but I could not find anything else. Also, there are so many different jersey options that they had. There was so much stuff I had to upload that I, I had to sort of just settle. Like there's some things that have like an outline on Jackson State or something that isn't supposed to on their actual jersey. I just couldn't make it work because there was so many different options that they had. But this is the home look. So you'll see on this side, we have the JSU. And then on the other side, we have the jersey number. And I did the matching up as best as I could there for that. Went with this, the standard helmet with the red face mask. And then for the away uniforms, they have it the opposite. At least that's what the picture said. The JSU is on this side now. And the helmet or and the number is on this side of the helmet. So I did that as well for that. Um, we have... I don't know why it does this. I have saw a few people mentioning this online, this number overlapping. These numbers are separated, like on the website. I have them separated and I, I don't know why on some numbers it happens. It seems to be the ones that have one at the end that it happens to the most. Um, but I, there's nothing I can do to fix it. So unfortunately, you can see here, the helmet spacing is correct on that right there. But on the jersey itself, it's it's not showing as correct, and I'm not sure why. But but this is the away jersey, um, simple design, just with the pant leg or with the normal stripe on the pants there. And these are probably two of my favorite parts of this of the build that I made. This is an all red jersey build, and it has this claw helmet that I found online, and I got it as best as I possibly could. And yes, I think I actually found the exact logo online. And um, I just threw it on some all red jerseys here to sort of go along with the blue and the whites options that we have already. And if you were thinking that like, well, dang, man, there is a all red option that we have, but that's not it. Don't worry, guys. I got that one as well. It was just a little bit harder to put together. And here that one is. I did my best to get the striping correct. The pants are not as flush as I would like them to be going toward like going to the inner thigh i want it to be a little bit more of an angle and the the stripes on the jersey they were not that bent but it, it's about as close as i could get them to matching up with what they had um and i did do the other option of the claw helmet with the chrome instead of the blue so that is available as well on this set um this looked like one of the coolest ones that i saw anyway when i was doing the builds and I wanted to make sure we included it. And luckily enough, I was able to find the logo, recreate it, and it positioned it as close as I could get it to look the same as what it is on their actual helmets. And the final option for this jersey set is going to be another variation of the blue, but with the red logo. I saw this on a helmet. I could not tell if this helmet had numbers on the other side or not. So I just put the JSU on both sides. And I did another variant of the blue jersey where it has the striping now on the side. Um, and I think the pants are pretty much the same as the original pants, but you do have, you know, four or five different helmets now. Yeah. Five different helmets and five different jerseys, five different, or at least four different pants. So a lot of different options to choose from. And then for the field JSU in the middle. And then I, this is another one where I had to upload so many things to make it work that I could not upload anything else to make the end zones look hundred percent accurate. So I just threw the Jackson State in the end zone that I had on both sides here. And the stadium I used is Ole Miss's stadium uh, because it had the right size. And yes, aside from the home of the Ole Miss Rebels on the side, if you just ignore that, a lot of it looks pretty plain Jane. There's not a lot of stuff on the side here on the walls that indicate who it's for. And um, that was the best option I could think of. Plus their colors are sort of close to the same. Yes, I realized I forgot to show the Hampton field. So here we are back with the Hampton Pirates. We just got the logo in the middle. Um, I did see that there's a different logo that they use. A very weird H that they use. And I don't know if that's still in use, but I tried so hard to find it. I could not find it anywhere. I tried. I, I tried taking a couple of pictures and, and cutting it out of there, but it would be so blurry when I blew it up that it just didn't look right. The it just I just took the L, uploaded the regular Hampton logo and just called it a day. And then we have Hampton in one and Pirates in the other. 
And then for the field itself or the stadium, I used uh, Sam Houston State for the field. Um, I tried to, you know, get one that had a track on it because it had a track in the pictures that I saw. Obviously, not everything is going to be perfect, but I think it did pretty well for this build. And then the last team is North Carolina A&T, the Aggies. This team was heavily requested as well on my comments section, and this was a really fun build to make, but it was also my most challenging. Sort of similar to Hampton, but with a different twist on it. And that twist was one, finding jerseys, because my God, I could not find like decent pictures from like the last season. Everything was at least four years old that I kept finding on Google. So I, I took me a couple of hours to find actual builds to look at and then some of it i sort of had to just make up on my own and also the jersey itself with this little stripe on it i had to create a, a certain design and then fit it properly on there to match up with what it sort of looked like on the the pictures that i found so if it's not perfect i apologize i tried my best to get this to be as accurate as possible um, but this is the blue home build it's just got an all blue look i know that's not what they normally wear per se but i wanted to make sure we had a blue build and this just seemed to make the most sense for the home jerseys and then here for the away look it's uh the yellow pants with the stripe the white jersey with the blue stripe on the collar so that it matches up and the same helmet nothing too crazy there but don't worry i also wanted to make sure we had the aggies helmet in here as well so i went ahead and made that um, i matched up the lettering on the helmet as best as i could it wasn't easy but I think I found a very, very close second to what the actual font is for that. And we have the yellow version of the jersey, which I saw a lot of in pictures, and uh, also a, a white version of the pants with the blue stripe. Um, I made sure that every jersey concept had a pants that they can match up with. So like the blue, there is a the blue with the yellow stripe. There's also white with the yellow stripe that I haven't shown you yet. There's the, the blue with the, the yellow with the blue stripe, the white with the blue stripe. So every option for Jersey there is, there should be an all color, like an, a both pants and, and Jersey combo color that you can put together and have matching pants so that the stripes don't look off from the shoulder pad to the pants. I, I wanted to make sure that was the case. So you can go all white, you can go all yellow and you can go all blue or you can mix and match and still find that they, they do match up for the most part. Now, of course, if you decide to go with like say yellow pants, with the blue stripe and the blue jersey you just gonna have to live with that that you're not going to have that match on the jersey but everything else should match up really well and now on to the set that i made for my own personal self because i saw some stuff online from some older jerseys and i thought it looked pretty cool and i wasn't sure what else to do with the last two jersey slots because i couldn't find anything about the aggies outside of like three different jerseys and the rest i just had to make up so i hope you guys like it I went ahead and made a black alternate for the for NCAT. I, I don't know why, man, but I just I saw a picture. It looked almost like it was a really dark gray, but I couldn't find something that would match up with the gray well. And I, I was like, you know what? Let's just do a black alternate. And it looks so good with the yellow. It looks so good. And this is what I was referring to before with the pants is I was able to make a white pants with a yellow stripe on it. So that way, if you guys want to use this with the blue uniform, you can as well for a white look on the bottom. But yeah, I went ahead and made the black. Luckily, I was using a logo that does not have the blue border on it. Um, and because of that, I was able to you know use it on a different jersey like this without any issues. I even found that this number like this font style was used at some point on some of their jerseys and I, I couldn't figure out which year it was but i went ahead and used it for this one as sort of a a throwback slash alternate look for for everybody and then i had one more spot to do so i did an away option for this but i also did something a little different with the helmet to make sure i was covering all my bases i went ahead and i made an aggies helmet but with black instead of blue and don't ask me why that that stripe is is gray because i can assure you it is black on the site i will fix that after this to make sure that when you guys download this it all looks proper um but this is the away option so same jerseys just an away jersey and then the black pants with the yellow stripe that way you guys can mix and match as well but i wanted to make sure i got the aggies involved because it seemed as if that helmet meant a lot it seemed like it was the old school helmet or the throwback and then they also brought it back recently with some of their looks so i wanted to make sure to put that in with my alternate 
you know, jerseys that I created. So, and then for the logo, we went with a and just the basic A and T logo. And then here again, I did not have enough resources to upload anything different for the end zone. So I just threw the N C A and T in the end zones with a blue background and put a yellow border around it. Um, I'm sorry if some of the end zones aren't exactly what you were expecting, but I mean, you go, I can only upload 10 things. So if I have to do custom Jersey sleeves or anything else, or cut like multiple logos on helmets, it takes up a lot of that, of that space. So I, I just, you know, I, I just ran out of room. So I apologize, but that is it for the three teams. I will of course be working on more teams as I go down the list and have time to build them. Uh, for those of you who are waiting on my NIU dynasty, man, I'm so upset that the stuff didn't populate. And now it, the, the problem I have is that it populated the fix of the colors, right? So now all my colors are murky brown instead of red but it didn't let me refresh the data. So it can refresh stuff like that, but it can't refresh it to let me fix things. So uh, I'm just, a, I'm a little, I'm a little peeved about that. And I'm, I'm working on a fix. All right, I am, I, I am, I, I promise you I am. Um, I'm hoping I don't have to restart. Cause I'm gonna be honest, if I have to restart again, I'm just starting from scratch and we're gonna start simming some crap because I have had to redo the, the, the recruiting, which is a huge portion in the front part of the, of the season, by the way, as you, as I'm sure you guys know who are playing it. It's a huge part of the first opening up part of the season. And I've had to redo that twice now. I've had to go through games twice. I've had to learn all new recruiting classes and I'm, I'm sort of over it. So I'm getting a little mad about it. I know I'm not, I'm, it's, it is what it is, but I'm working on it. Just, just know that, okay? I, I am planning on continuing the dynasty. I just, I don't know if they're gonna put a patch out to where they allow that to be fixed like it should be, or if I just have to suck it up and start over again, which is gonna really suck. But either way, it is coming. Uh, so just hang tight for me. And please let me know down below what you guys think of this. Um, sometimes, you know, I I try my best to match these jerseys up. And I know I can't get them 100% accurate. But I'm hoping that I'm doing them honor by the way I am building them. And that those of you who are fans of the team or a part of the team or know somebody, who, whatever it is, um, sees what I'm trying to do here and what I'm trying to offer. Um, also, the players, guys, I'm sorry, okay? I've had a few people ask me about making, like changing all the rosters around. I, I don't have time for that. I'm, I'm sorry, I wish I did, but I would not be able to do any content at all if I if I had to edit all of the players on all the rosters that I make. I just put most of them to average Joes and that's the way that they are. I'm sorry if, if that's not up to snuff, um, but it's just a lot of work to put this in. It's a lot of work to do the other videos that I'm doing and to try to add on to adjusting on the entire roster for a team. I just, I don't have the time for that. So I do apologize for that. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down below what you guys think. Before you leave, hit that like button, subscribe if you have not already, and turn on that bell notification. And I will see you guys next time.